Is the turtle, turtle, turtle not working? Can you guys hear me all right? Can you hear me? The words that are coming out of my mouth right now, let me know. No sound. What the fuck? Why does that always happen? Hopefully you guys can hear me. Can you hear me? Please say yes. Audio, built-in speakers. Okay, so you're good now. I don't know why it does that. I don't know why it does that. But anyway, um, welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the Turtle Boy Live Show. What I'm doing right now is I'm sharing the link to this on various social media pages. Go ahead and give them a like. Uh, the Clarence Woods Emerson page, uh, you should be following that. That's kind of like the primary account now, or at least like the personal page, but you should like it anyway. The Uncle Turtle Boy Aiden Carney page passed 13,000 followers today. That's good. And by the way, if you haven't um, subscribed yet to uh, the YouTube channel that you're watching right now, you should go ahead, definitely go ahead and do that. Uh, so give me one sec to share this to my page, share to a page. Uncle Turtle Boy, there it is, and we live, okay, live, all right, so there you go, all right, and I'm also going to go ahead right now and share it on the Twitter machine, uh, I'm on Twitter, guys, I've been on Twitter for a minute, uh, but I can't get any followers on that, I don't know what's going on with that, I got, I'm a little over 3,000, but definitely like to be more than Munch. that, so uh, go ahead, follow me on Twitter, my Twitter handle is at TV underscore Aiden. That's at TV underscore A I D A N. And on top of that, you're definitely going to want to follow me on Parlor, which is a weird place uh, because who knows how fucking long I'll be on any of these platforms, which is kind of like the topic of tonight is uh, so how these uh, goddamn protests of Washington are going to fuck us all. It's not, it's going to be bad news, guys. It's going to be really bad news. We haven't seen, uh, this is just the beginning. Hold on one sec. We live. All right. I'm ready in on parlor right now. Uh, my parlor handle, by the way, is at Turtle Boy. So I'm at Turtle Boy on there. It's really easy to find me on there. But subscribe to email, whatever you got to do. So anyway, uh, also smash that like button. Let's get up to 100 likes if you can. If you guys feel like donating to the program, there is a dollar sign at the bottom right there. This is how I make a living. I love doing it. I'd like to keep doing it uh, for as long as possible, you know keep the revolution going. I feel like we're doing an important service here as far as uh, getting the word out. So especially in the last 24 hours, the last 20 hours have been fucking insane, obviously. And I wrote a little blog on it last night after uh, posting to Facebook some things that got a lot of things. And I know I was going to lose some followers. I did lose some followers today because whenever I write about Trump, anything critical at all, it's like I'm guaranteed to lose a bunch of followers because guess what? Here's the little known secret, guys. The Trump crazies are no better than the social justice warriors that we mock on a daily basis. Now, I, I'm going out on a limb saying this, right, because there's a substantial amount of Turtle Boy Nation probably. What percent would you guys guess of Turtle Riders do you think voted for Donald Trump? I would guess, I would say like 80, maybe 85. I don't know what you guys think. But, uh, yeah, I mean, Sean's, so Sean doesn't like that. I said I, that girl deserved today. We could talk about that. Um, but yeah, I, I lost seven for supporting Trump. So 85, I mean, I don't lose when I supporting Trump for me is easy because most of my followers are Trump supporters. So like when I write about Trump or write something good, everybody likes it. You know, I get a lot of comment, got a lot of likes. There's always like one or two people in there that are like, you know, my friend Jen Altman in there, uh, or, you know, even Laura sometimes not really, she doesn't really start the fire too much, but there's always a couple in there that get the crowd going, um, but when I do Trump, when I when I criticize, at least they stick around. I'll give them that. At least they stick around. It's like when you when you criticize Trump, you lose all these fucking people. Like it's insane. It's absolutely insane. It's like you should be able to criticize any president or anybody really. I mean, that's kind of the whole purpose of Turtle Boy is uh, we urge you to like. I've always urged people to don't believe viral bullshit. Research everything. If you see something on the internet and a lot of people are sharing it and it comes in meme form, right? Or like, you know, like something really viral goes around. Be careful with that shit. Usually that's a sign that like, I don't know if this is credible. And we, that was on full display yesterday in Washington. So let me bring up the blog I did on this real quick. Hmm. Okay. 
So the title of the blog was uh, every yes. Yesterday was entirely Donald Trump's fault and has exposed the hypocrisy of both right and left. And I meant every word of that. Yesterday was one thousand percent Donald Trump's fault. Everything that you saw in Washington was Donald Trump's fault yesterday. He lost the election. Okay, I've been telling you guys that for weeks, months, really. He lost the election, and whether or not it was fair is not the point. He lost. Okay. Joe Biden's going to be the president. He might not be the 46th president because I'm honestly, guys, I would put it at like a coin toss right now that like at some point, thank you very much, Lisa. She says, because the truth is still more important than people's feelings. You got that right. Um, I would argue that within the next 13 days, there's like a 50-50 shot that Donald Trump's going to resign. That, that's just my guess right now. May, like everybody's talking about the 25th Amendment and removal and stuff like that. No, too complicated. Don't you think it would be like classic Trump style at this point to just say, I'm no, I will not be removed from office on January 20th. I will not go out when it's time to move out. I will leave on my own accord because guess what? I already accomplished everything in one term anyway. So I didn't really need a second to begin with. So I'm out of here. Like I could totally picture something like that happening. You know, the guy wants to leave on his own terms. He wants to do it his day because he's arrogant and full of himself. I mean, that's just how he is. You got to love it. Love it or hate it. It is what it is. So uh, yesterday, let's talk about here what happened yesterday. So um, basically all these idiots stormed, stormed the Bastille, right? Uh, in Washington, D.C. at the Capitol building. And they get they they overcome the Capitol Police, they go in there and then they're like, now what? Like, what do we do? <laughs> they're just like walking around and, you know, everybody's hiding and stuff like there. A woman gets shot, like literally gets shot by Capitol Police. And you're not hearing anything about this woman. Now, I want to talk about this chick. Her name is Ashley um, something. Ashley with an I. Uh, I believe it is Ashley. Uh, somebody else will know in the comments, I'm sure, but she got shot while uh, trying to like, I think she was trying to get into the Senate chambers. I'm not entirely sure. I saw just a gun. Now I'm watching, I watched the video of it. I'm like, I support the police and I'm watching this and I'm like, well, <laughs> guy was, she wasn't even close to him. She was climbing up on something and they just shot. Like the guy was standing so far away, just shot it. I don't know the protocol for that, but I'm like watching this. I'm like, what I saw on that video was a million times worse than any of any Black Lives Matter video I've ever seen in my life. And like, doesn't even compare to it. But they won't be saying her name because uh, she was protesting for the wrong reasons. She was. Now, now imagine that was a Black Lives Matter supporter. And this is what people bring up, right? It's like, they'll say that, well, if this is Black Lives Matter, picture what would happen. Picture how many would be dead. Well, if that happened, imagine a black a black Black Lives Matter protester was shot by a white Capitol guardsman. Yeah, just just one. All fucking hell would break loose, and they know that. Nobody's saying say her name for this person. And I said earlier on the on the Jerry Callahan podcast that I don't feel bad for her. And guess what? I still don't feel bad for her at all. Like it's, it's a really, anybody who participated in that nonsense yesterday, it's like, you need to get a life. You need, I mean, it's a fucking, what day of the week was it yesterday? Wednesday. You don't have to work on a Wednesday. You have time to like go and hang out in Washington and invade the Capitol. Like get a fucking life. You know, it's, it's over. Like Donald Trump won. Now Trump realizes I, I happen to be one of Trump's more intelligent followers. I pride myself in that, but not ever, not all of us are that smart, quite frankly. And a lot of people are dumb and will believe anything that they're told. And I re, like I've lost like in the last two months, Donald Trump has preyed upon these people and just fed them lies that I don't know if he knows these are lies. I still can't figure him out if he like thinks they're if he's just a, a con artist that's lying to them, or if he's so insane that he actually thinks that the things he's saying is true. Like he didn't, there was no, like, yeah, of course there's fraud. There's fraud in every election, but he couldn't prove it. He couldn't prove enough of it. So that's the end of it. Anyway, um, so 
where was I with this? What were you we talking about? We were talking about, yeah, he had two months to prove voter fraud. He couldn't do it. Uh, and he's preying upon these people. Now, he, he, a responsible president, guys, a responsible person in general, doesn't go and speak at this fucking rally, right? Especially the day after we lost Georgia. We lost the Senate. We're fucked now. We're fucked, 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 fucked. We're, it's going to be so bad. Trust me. It's not going to be good at all. And uh, he knows these people are not the brightest bulbs and they'll believe anything that he says. And he literally incites them to just go out there and don't put up with this shit, whatever that means. I, I forget the exact wording that he used, but he essentially told them like, get out there and uh, get in their faces and make them change, make them fear you. Like that was clearly the, the message that was sent to these people. And they did that. And they ran in there and everybody hid and everybody ran around to let, and we, we've seen these pictures. Like, look at these fucking, look at this fucking guy. <laughs> like, how is this allowed? Just walk around the Capitol building. This is insane. This is Nancy Pelosi's desk, by the way. He's just sitting at Nancy Pelosi's desk, living life. He takes a freaking, <laughs> he's, he's got a card outside for it. It's like, this is Richard Bigo Barnett from Arkansas showing off his personalized envelope uh, that he took from Speaker Pelosi's office. He insisted he didn't steal it. And he said, I left a quarter on her desk. Okay, that's actually pretty funny. But here's guys doing like freaking parkour. And uh, this guy, <laughs> look at this fucking guy. Look at this fucking guy. Look at this guy. Oh my goodness. I mean, this is insane. Armed guard. They, and, and of course there was this dude. Where did he go? This guy, <laughs> this fucking guy right there. That guy. So anyway, um, all these idiots go in there. These guys have probably never voted before 2016 in their life. Don't follow politics. Only go for Trump. That's literally all they're in it for. They're probably not even like real Republicans. They're just in it because they like Donald Trump. That's it. Like notice that in Georgia, in that Georgia election, David Perdue won. He won by like 100,000 votes in uh, November. But because of Georgia's stupid constitution, if you don't get over 50%, you got to go do a runoff again. So now he's got to beat douchebag bootleg Beto again. And this time around, bootleg Beto wins because he got uh, uh, like basically 100,000 Trump voters just didn't show up. Because fuck it. Why would they show up when the president's telling them that the election's rigged anyway? Why would they bother? They actually believe this shit. They're like, I'm not voting. It's literally a waste of my vote. So they didn't show up. They didn't bother. And now they have control of the Senate. Now they can do whatever the fuck they want. And that's extremely bad news. They're going to start uh, adding D.C. as a state is number one, then Puerto Rico. So that'll give them two more senators. Then they'll be able to pack the Supreme Court. They can do whatever the fuck they want. Our only hope, our only hope is that they fight amongst themselves so much, like the AOC faction and then the moderate faction, if you will, that they fight so much that they get nothing done. That's literally our only hope. By the way, we controlled the presidency and, the, and Congress, both both chambers of Congress for two years there and didn't build a wall, didn't do anything, didn't regulate big tech, and all this shit is going to come back to bite us, all of it. So get ready for that. Anyway, uh, back to this uh, story from today, you know, that it did here. Uh, if you thought Charlottesville was bad, they're going to bring this up forever. I've seen it on the news. They're talking about insurrection and coup. Don't give these fucking people so much credit. They're just a bunch of goons that fucking ran into it and smashed it. They're idiots. And if Trump, I, I certainly hope this kills the Trump thing, right? If Trump runs again in 2024, then we're really fucked. Because we have like, we have a donation here real quick. He says, Michelle says, these people are idiots. One of them who went to the Capitol building was fired by his job uh, as Navistar directing market. Yeah, he wore his fucking badge. Did you guys see that? That was hilarious. Adam Hurst says, please stop with the fear mongering with what the Democrats are going to do. You act like you work for C CNN. Well, CNN would do the opposite. They would fear monger uh, what uh, the conservatives are going to do. But if you don't think they're going to do this, man, <laughs> you're not paying attention to what these people have done. You Did, did you pay attention to the Kavanaugh hearings? Did you see what they did to the Covington kids? Do you trust these people with power? Because I certainly don't. I certainly don't. They're not like Republicans. They'll actually do what they're threatening to do. 
But thank you for the dono anyway. I appreciate that. And yeah, a guy like Ron DeSantis, that should be the next president of the United States. He should be running against Kamala Harris in 2024. He has done a fantastic job. Florida has become the model for how every, like it's the best fucking state in the country. Remember when Florida was a joke like five years ago? Florida's the best state in the country now. It is. Everybody wants to move there for a reason because it's well run. It's open. The bars are open. Everything's fucking open. Restaurants are open. Schools never closed. It's a great time in Florida. But because they have a real leader who doesn't give in to bullies. Ron DeSantis. He's fantastic. But he's sharp. He's like a better version of Trump. But you know if Trump runs in the primary and DeSantis does too, that Trump's going to give him some fucking nickname and he's going to mock him. And it's he's going to ruin. That's what Trump does to be. He ruined Jeb Bush. Not that we wanted Jeb Bush. He ruined Ted Cruz. He ruined um, little Marco Rubio. He ruins one guy. He ruined Lindsey Graham. He ruined all these fucking people. So it is what it is. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. Anyway, this was not a coup. This is just a bunch of fucking idiots running around, acting like stooges. There they are. Blah, blah, blah. And uh, here's the thing. Black Lives Matter is not getting called out for any of this shit. Like Black Lives Matter did this on steroids. They did this on steroids. They, uh, and how quickly people forget that. I'm going to bring up right now a, uh, a, what Joe Biden just posted on Facebook not too long ago because it's such horseshit that it needs to be addressed immediately. Where'd it go? Joe Biden. There he goes. Okay. So this is what your incoming president who wants unity, remember? He wants unity. This is what he writes on uh, Twitter and Facebook today. No one can tell me that had if it had been a group of Black Lives Matter protesters yesterday, that they wouldn't have been treated very differently than the mob that stormed the Capitol. We all we all know it's true. We all know it's true. We all know that. Okay. So this is a lie. This is a blatant, blatant lie, and they just don't care. So get used to this. Uh, let's look at let's let's see if uh, any of this is true. Let's let's pull the tape up real quick. See if uh, any of this story checks out. Black Lives Matter compilation riot video. Let's see what happens here. Hmm. People are standing up for what they fucking love. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Oh, yep, yep. Oh, man. Look at all. They're all being killed by the cops, guys. Wow. So peaceful. So peaceful. Trump lost my respect. You could have built an engine to win. You're absolutely right about that, Justify. You're absolutely right about that. We lost Georgia because Trump wasn't even fucking talking about Georgia. This guy with the crossbow. I mean, this happened in every major American city. Everything burning. Look at this shit. Do people forget about this? Ooh, 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 doggy. Every fucking city. Oh, remember when they stormed CNN? Oh, this, look at this. Do you see anyone here getting arrested? Doesn't this seem nice? What was the quote again from Biden? Let me read the Biden tweet. No one can tell me that it would have been a group of Black Lives Matter protesters yesterday that they wouldn't have been treated very differently than the mob that stormed the Capitol. So just to review, um, a woman, an unarmed woman was killed in the Capitol yesterday while participating in a riot herself. She's hardly innocent. But that's overlooked. Four other people, by the way, died. But, and by the way, Donald Trump, I mean, when you think about it, like, Donald Trump sent those people to their fucking deaths. Like that, his own followers died because of fucking him. That I no, I mean these idiots followed him, did his bidding, and fucking died for him. Essentially, that's fucking crazy. If you love Donald Trump so much, you're willing to die for him. Um, I kind of don't feel that bad for you if you die. I'm sorry, I don't get a fucking life. Anyway, this is what these people do. They riot. So Joe Biden, you're going to get so much of that shit. It's going to go unchallenged. If Trump had tweeted something like that, you know, fact check, actually, CNN fact check, 
This is untrue. During the Black Lives Matter protests, uh, several people were actually arrested and they were killed. And it's like, this is what you're going to get. You're not going to get any sort of balance or anything. They control everything. They control the media. They, they got everything. You got Turtle Boy. That's what you got. That's what I'm here for. Anyway, um, so back to the blog. Uh, some more key points from yesterday. We all remember the Kavanaugh hearings, right? Like uh, during the Kavanaugh hearings, they literally... I mean, let's check out, let's, let's watch this tape. Let's watch this reminder, shall we? Uh, Jeff Flake Elevator. Senator, why did you vote yes, Senator? Tell us why you changed your mind. Wait, where did the people? story of my sexual assault. I told it because I recognized in Dr. Ford's story that she's telling the truth. What you are doing is allowing someone who actually violated a woman to sit in the Supreme Court. This is not tolerable. You have children in your family. Think about them. I have two children. I cannot imagine. Unbelievable. So this is like a, a United States senator, kind of. And they're literally, the mob is following him into an elevator and preventing him from leaving. And by the way, he changes his vote after this because the mob intimidated him and Jeff Flake is a pussy. So this is what you get. Like this was the, the nobody expressed outrage when a mob of clucking hens whining about these stories that are unconfirmed about how they were sexually assaulted 20 years ago. Therefore, Brett Kavanaugh is a gang rapist because that makes sense. Um, nobody complained about that on their team. So I don't want to hear the fucking outrage from them about insurrection and uh, uh, civility and all this bullshit getting along. No, they, they're, they, the only time they say that shit is when they're winning. When they, when they have all the power, that's when they start saying shit like that. But until then, this is how they get the power. And that ain't good. That ain't good. I mean, do you guys remember talking about violence? Who remembers this fucking video? This is in New York City. Boom. Check that out. Cop gets... Watch this cop here in the white. This is in New York City. Look at... See the guy creeping up behind him right there? Man, let me pull it up. Make it bigger. Seven Pounder says, America has endured four years of less as riots and crickets from the media. The right riots once. Yeah. It wasn't much of a riot. You know? They didn't do that good. Anyway, look at, see, there's a guy right behind the guy in the white shirt, the cop in the white shirt, sneaking up right behind him. See? See, he's like, God, is, he's holding a fucking brick. Now watch this. Boom! Oh, ho, ho. good night. Hit with a fucking brick. But again, if Black Lives Matter, and did you see him get arrested? No, I must have missed that part. I must have missed when they shot him. The Black Lives Matter protests. I must have missed when they shot him. Yeah, funny how that works. Um, so anyway, back to how this is going to affect us all, right? Um, you know, first, like you have the vice president of the United States who, God, God, I don't know if I'm going to hate. I thought I hated Elizabeth Warren. I don't know if I'm ever going to hate somebody as much as I hate Kamala the cunt. I cannot. I already fucking hate her. I hate her so much. I hate hearing her voice. I hate her fake fucking laugh. I hate the lies that come out of her out their mouth. And uh, the if you'll recall, Kamala Harris is the one who shared the link to the Minnesota bail fund, who literally uh, helped rioters get out of prison when they were doing all this shit. Rioters and looters. And they'll look past that. doesn't matter. Uh, anyway. Videos looking. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Um, anyway. Uh, so let's talk about how this is going to affect us all. Oh, and by the way, I love this. Let me pull this up real quick. Back to this one. This is the chick who died. This is her Twitter before it was actually pulled down. It says to Kamala Harris, no, the fuck you will not. No masks. No, you. No Biden, the kid raper. No vaccines. Sit your fraudulent ass down. We the people, bitch. Okay. So that's normal. I mean, if you ever get to your, find yourself like that, uh, you might be in trouble. Now, this is the one thing I wanted to talk about is, and I'm so sick of freaking conservatives yesterday. So I share this, right? I see all, I share my thoughts about it on Facebook and immediately it gets stuck with all these fucking memes like this one. People are like, 
This guy with the horned hat, he's a BLM plant. Here he is in Arizona at a BLM march. Well, what's he holding right there? What's it, what's he holding for a sign? I can't see it. Let's see what the sign says. Oh, it says Q as in QAnon sent me. Funny how they left that out. Be wary, guys, of anybody who's like trying to push an agenda on you like that. Question fucking everything. This guy is not a Black Lives Matter supporter. He's a Trump diehard QAnon dude. Okay, that's what he's all about. It takes five fucking seconds of research to figure that out. Here's another lie that was being, you know, thrown around. That this guy right here has a communist tattoo on his hand. Well, does he? Oh, no. It's actually um, a tattoo for the video game Dishonored. Two seconds of research. Everybody was posting that one. The other one everyone was posting was this one, right? That this guy is Antifa because look, phillyantifa.org. He must be Antifa. But why is it so zoomed in? Why is it so zoomed in? Oh, right. Because it's from an Antifa website that doxes right-wingers. So there he is right there. So the, the, he's not actually Antifa. He was being doxed by Antifa. This is absolutely insane. So what's the freaking fallout from this going to be, guys? It's going to be fucking bad news. You're starting to see it right now. Um, Donald Trump today was banned by Facebook. Banned by Facebook. He's just gone from the platform completely. He was banned by Twitter for 12 hours yesterday. But usually these tech companies work in collusion with each other. So it's going to be one after another. He ain't going to be on Twitter for much longer. Not much longer at all. He had some weird fucking speech today that was like Trump on drugs. And it was like nice. It's like he's I feel like he's losing his mind. I don't know what's wrong with him. But he was like good Trump tonight. I don't know. But anyway, um, he's banned. And if he if they're willing to ban the president of the United States, who won't they fucking ban? Who won't they ban? And he, Michelle Obama of all fuck big Mike here. Let me pull this up. See what she says. Uh, Michelle Obama. Let's search her name. Michelle Obama today tweets this shit out. She says, like all of you, I've been feeling so many emotions since yesterday. I tried to put my fears down here. Basically, what she's saying here is that she wants Trump banned from all social media platforms. All of them. The president of the United States. And she got her way. She got, Facebook took her down. And this is what your future looks like, by the way. Tech companies doing the bidding of liberals and banning, they can ban Trump, guys. They can ban anybody, anybody. What is the justification for that? I mean, he's the leader of the free world. It doesn't matter what he's fucking tweeting. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. He's the fucking leader of the free world. And Facebook and Twitter, which have a monopoly on the public square, or whatever. At the same time, Trump has had four years to do something about this, to regulate them, do something. And he's done nothing. He's done absolutely, absolutely nothing. Next, Senator Hawley. Let's talk about what he did. Who was, you know, I thought a guy who was, uh, you know, could have been president in 2024. But I think this might have hurt him. This, this. So he, Senator Hawley from Missouri, who gets big, he's the youngest senator, or well, fucking bootleg Beto is now, but was the youngest senator from Missouri, uh, very sharp guy, former attorney general of the state, lawyer, and understands big tech more than anybody. As a matter of fact, he was uh, scheduled to publish a book published by uh, uh, Simon & Schuster, like the biggest publishing company in the world, called The Tyranny of Big Tech. But he was one of seven senators who voted not to certify the Electoral College. Now, I don't really hate on him for that. I, I would vote to do it just because fucking I feel like you don't want them doing it to you. I just feel like it sets a bad precedent, but whatever. It was symbolic. There were seven of them. Nothing was going to happen anyway. Who cares, right? He never told anybody to riot. He never told anybody to do shit, but he is now being blamed for this. Okay. He's taking more shit than anybody. And Simon and Schuster now is banning him from publishing their book. This is madness. This is madness. What the fuck did Holly do? We are now banning United States senators from publishing books, companies are. They're, they're, they're burning their own books. The book burnings are being done by the book companies. Real life. This should, this should concern everybody. Like, it's amazing. I mean, I know it better than anybody. I've been telling people about this for years. 
right? Banned from PayPal now, banned from Facebook, or I'm on Facebook now, but I always get kicked off. Twitter, it's always a fucking hot mess. Google AdSense. And people are like, oh, just go to a competitor. What, what competitor is there? I'm on Parler now. It is a Trump circle jerk in there. My blog did not go over very well on Parler, okay? I got, I got ratioed up the fucking asshole. <laughs> we need more liberals on, on Parler. I got to be perfectly honest with you. So it, I hate to be dystopian about this, guys, but like with coronavirus and not much fight back against that, I mean, at, at some point, at some point, people are going to reach a breaking point and be like, this is, I don't want a civil war because I don't want anyone to die. I think that's irresponsible. But like, I feel like, a, what's wrong with the divorce? Let's get a national divorce. I mean, we can't live with these people. Like, we'll never, you, you don't want me to talk on your platform. Like, you're, there's people cheering this shit on. They're cheering it on. Like, they love it. It's like, they're so oblivious to the fact that like, what if this happens to your team? What if this happens to your team? And you know what? They don't think about it because it's never happened to their team. And quite frankly, I don't know if it ever will. Mark Zuckerberg banned Donald Trump today because he not, he, he sees the writing on the wall. Donald Trump's not going to be the president in 13 days. And if he doesn't do something to stop Trump and like make it seem like I'm doing something, they're going to go after him. Elizabeth Warren smells blood. And the Democrats now control the Senate. So good luck with that. Good luck dealing with these fucking crazies. Um, anyway, um, what else was I going to talk about today? Anything? Why don't I was going to talk about? Um, so that's my whole rant on that. Did I have something else here I wanted to discuss, or did I want to save some shit for the live show this weekend? Why don't? Oh, um, yeah. Why don't we uh, take? Why don't we, I, I have something I could talk about, but unless you guys, why don't we go right to questions right now? If you guys have any, anything you want to talk about, that usually gets me on a roll when we start ranting about shit. Yeah. The Trump, let's talk about the Trump Pence breakup. I mean, Mike Pence is, was the hero of the day yesterday. Mike, all these fucking assholes going after Mike Pence can go fuck themselves. Nobody's been lo more loyal to Donald Trump when he was probably felt uncomfortable with it. Cause remember, this is a guy who doesn't eat dinner with other women. If his wife isn't there, he's that old school. And he's, he's teaming up with the pussy grabbing guy. He probably held his tongue all the time, but he did it because he's a good soldier and he did it for the team. And he brought the evangelical base that was, might've been hesitant about voting for Donald Trump with him. He was the adult in the white house. Mike Pence was fucking a rock star and Donald Trump turned on him because Donald Trump is a fucking asshole right now. Like there's no other way to put it. He's completely in it for Donald Trump. I'd still vote for him, but you know, as soon as you align with Shiva, that's how you know it, it's fucking done, man. It's done. I I didn't read your donut. Where, where, where'd the donut go? Where'd it go? Hold on. Walter Bird. How do I read the donuts? I can't get it back. I missed it. Sorry, but thank you for the donut anyway. What do I think about Marty being the uh, secretary of labor? Um, I think it's bad. If, if people think Boston's bad now, wait till Michelle Wu or um, the other one there, Campbell, wait till one of them's the mayor. Cause those are going to be the two leading candidates now for mayor. Hoo -hoo! That's what I think of that. Uh, I don't know what the secretary of labor does. I don't think it really matters who the secretary of labor is, but uh, I feel like he's such a union hack stooge that he's kind of like the perfect pick for that. Gina Raimondo, her reign of terror is about to come to an end in Rhode Island. She'll probably be replaced by someone equally as bad because she is a secretary of commerce, which I think actually does something. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but yeah. Other questions. Did Powell ever release the Kraken? Thank you. Remember all those people? Oh, it's coming. Wait till you see. Tucker, Tucker doesn't know. She can't give up the evidence yet. Guys. It's coming any day now. 13 days. When's it, when's it coming? Do you think Trump will uh, negotiate his resignation in exchange for Pent, Pence to grant him a pardon? Um, could. That's an interesting theory. I don't know who's going to prosecute Donald Trump. I don't know how that works. I mean, what are they going to? They're not going to. They're not going to go after him when he's done. They're going to be so glad he's gone. I mean, we didn't go after Hillary, right? For the emails and shit. After that, we're like, well, whatever. She's fucking gone. You know. 
Operation Warp Speed is a disaster. I'll give you that. I mean, it's not go the lack of. I mean, why are vaccine like why are the, you can't mass produce? You got two companies making the vaccines now. Why aren't they fucking everywhere? Why is it like? Well, I might get it in six months. Why isn't every fucking elderly person have it now? Every every school teacher should get it, right? So that way they stop fucking whining and go back and do their goddamn job. That'd be nice. One thing, if this shit, guys, continues with the schools, we need to seriously talk about a parent protest. I'm dead serious. Would you guys do that with me? Like, would people do that? Um, like if I organized a protest at MTA headquarters, would you go? Write one in the comments right now if you would go to a protest at the Massachusetts Teachers Association headquarters. Two, if you would not. Let me see. Protest. Yes. Hmm. I mean, at what point do parents have some sort of, like, we have no fucking recourse. You can't speak at school committee meetings because they're not in person. They literally just silence you. And every parent I talk to, like, wants to go back, wants to send their, they're furious, liberal, conservative. It's the vast majority of parents, I think, want to go back. They don't care. They know it's safe. They know the schools are safe. Looks like most people can I bring a dog? Yeah. Um, it looks like most people are saying one. I would I would love to organize a parent protest at the MTA headquarters. I think that that needs to happen because how much longer are you gonna put up with this shit, guys? I mean, how how long are they we gonna let them do this to our fucking kids? Just deprive them of an education. These are our children, and they're just denying them the ability to learn. And I feel like all we do is complain. I write blogs about it and people share it and like they hit the like button and we're like, yeah, it's fucked up. Teachers need to get back to work, blah, blah. And then nothing changes. The city of Fitchburg today, right? Um, they were supposed to start school in-person learning on Monday. They canceled it today. They just canceled it today. You know why? Because the, uh, the union they organized, they're so organized. They just organized a campaign in which they all emailed a copy and paste email to the, um, uh, school committee. I mean, that's the city council and the school committee and said, don't reopen. They're like, Oh man, look at all these people. They're really mad. All these teachers, they're really mad. They don't want to go back. And they just give in the cave. That's what they do. We can't cave like that. That's the thing. We don't fight. We don't do anything like that. And we need to, we need to be better organized. And I've, do, if I need to be the leader of this revolution, then so be it. But I thought I thought there'd be like more angry parents out there. But I feel like we're leaderless. And if I have to be the leader, I'll have to be the leader. We're going to have to do some goddamn protesting, guys. We can't have this shit. We can't have these adults harming our children like this. It's not good. Yeah. I mean, seniors are just losing everything. Their entire senior year gone. You know, imagine you just don't get a senior year like fucking at all. It's bad enough we took prom and shit away from these kids last year. You know why? It's exactly well. In fairness, seven pounder, they're not the only profession. And the only argument, I, the the best argument I would make as a teacher is I would say, well, why why aren't the courthouses open? Why, why do lawyers not have to work? Why do judges get to work? Why 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 aren't they open? Why, you want schools to open but not courthouses? Why isn't your local town hall open? Why aren't they having school committee meetings in person? Why aren't they doing that? But you're right. Everybody else seems to be able to work. And then, oh, it's different. It's different. The HVAC systems, they're all fucking HVAC experts now. HVAC, my asshole. Um, other questions. We've been hybrid since September. Went remote this week. Oh, you're a teacher, Teresa. I didn't know that. We miss kids in remote. Yeah, I mean, remote's not, it's bullshit. You know, my daughter's never been in her classroom before, ever. My, uh, so actually a piece of mail went to um, one of her classmates' houses in Holden. The teacher or whoever, they put the wrong address on it. And so the guy contacted me, the father, and he came over to the house and he's like, my daughter's in the car. Is your daughter home? I'm like, no shit. But she would have loved to meet your daughter because she's literally never met another kid in class before ever. They have none of these kids in kindergarten anywhere have any friends. 
if you have a kindergartner, you could probably relate to this. They probably have no friends because how the fuck can you have friends if you go to school on a computer and you don't even have the ability to interact with other kids? You don't even have that ability. I mean, I remember parts of kindergarten, like you meet people, right? You have like, you, you talk about whatever the hell kindergartners talk about, you know, who has the b biggest, whatever, like who has the, t I have, I have this toy. You have this toy. That's all they talk about, but that doesn't happen at all. And it's freaking so bad for their, I mean, as if they can learn all this shit, the social shit on a goddamn computer. It's one of the great travesties of all time. And I'm just so furious with these teachers uh, who are going along with this in the school committees that are really the bigger problem, your local school committee. Cause I did a blog the other day on Middleton, Middleton mass is the um, perfect example of how easy it is to stand up to these people. Middleton is the only town in Massachusetts that never went remote. They've been open since day one, at least for K through two, because those are the ones that need to be in the building most. And they just opened and the teachers whined and complained. And then, and they went to work because they didn't have a choice. They didn't have a choice. They need a paycheck. And they get over their fear real quick because nobody actually fears this thing. That's why you're seeing all these teachers going on vacation and all this bullshit because nobody fears the freaking virus. Yeah. Middleton is a great town. I mean, so all these, all the fear mongering doesn't work there. Another town that Mattapoisett, I don't know if anybody from Mattapoisett here, I saw a story on this. The parents there just stood up and they said enough with the fear mongering. Our kids need to be in school. It's in the old Rochester Regional School District. And they said, enough with the bullshit. Our kids need to learn. They need to be in school. And they stood up and the school committee voted and they're back in school. It's all it takes. It's all it takes. So, um, you know, we need towns. We need towns like that. Any other questions you guys have? Yeah, I see a lot of that. All right. If you have any more questions, fire away, guys. If not, we'll call it a night soon. Um, update on the FOIA. Got nothing. Sorry. I, I'm so, I mean, I can't follow up with these people all the time. I'll try. Is Charlie Parker a Republican? He's never been a Republican. Is the show on Saturday? Um, fuck, there's playoffs, huh? I'll get back to you on that. But there's also playoffs Sunday, so. Turtle Club updates. Hey. I, I'm not saying this definite, but I think we might be able to do our first history broadcast on Wednesday. Don't hold me to that yet. We're really close to it. When I say like one week, I actually mean six days now. So um, we will see. Any comment from Kate after showing the call log? So I got a new phone and I'm not in the Discord anymore because all my shit got erased. So I got a, my phone shit to bed on Sunday. The Apple thing came on. I bring it to the store. Usually they, they take it and they press a button and it's fixed. And they're like, oh, well, phone, you need to get a new phone. Okay, I get a new phone. And I'm like, can you transfer all the shit over, all my messages? I got like 35,000 pictures on there. And I got like um, all the, my contacts and all this shit. And they're like, um, can't transfer that over unless we can turn the phone on, unless it's in your iCloud. But my iCloud got so full of shit in September. So anything I put on in September is gone. So I lost all my shit. So I lost Discord, and um, I, I can probably get back in there. So, no, I have not seen how they reacted to it. Has anybody seen? I'm honestly curious. Has anybody seen how they reacted to that? Uh, the call logs that proved, once again, that Catherine Peter, the police came to her house on November 25th over concern of a child, and there was an arrest. She claimed there was no arrest that night. There was an arrest that night. People are saying, no, little to no cons. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I'll explain how the Turtle Club sign-up works soon. Um, but, yeah, basically how it's going to work is you will get a user account. You'll sign up for whatever package you're getting. And you'll get a user account. And if you sign up for the one that ha that includes the History Podcast, you will simply – it'll be a blog. I'll publish a blog on TV Daily News that has the stream to it. And you'll just go on the site. If you're not in the turtle club and you're not logged into your account, you will not be able to read that blog or go on there. It will deny you access. 
So you will go on there, you'll log in, and you will be able to, it'll be a stream just like this. The comments will be directly below it. So it will not be on YouTube. It will be strictly on the blog. And that way, it's kind of like I can't get deplatformed on my own platform, right? I hope not. We'll see. Uh, can I, so basically, the history podcast is I'm just going to be doing a lot of, um, I don't know, it's a good question if I want to do it chronologically. or But I'm thinking more, I love relating current events, what's going on right now, to a point in history. I love that shit. So it's going to be a lot of that. It's going to be a lot of like, you know. 30 to 45 or minutes or, you know, uh, every Wednesday of a little history lesson and obviously interactive, ac asking questions. I'm sure it won't be as big as this because it's restricted, but it's uh, if you're into that sort of shit, that's what's going to happen. I guess we aren't discussing nothing tonight. We can ask whatever you want to ask. Um, what about the guy from Tuesday's live? I uh, don't know which guy you talk about. Was there an adjustment to the green screen? I just added more. I'm at, this is actually a blue screen, and I just added more lights. But it's sharp, right? I just said lights do everything. Yeah, it's basically going to be U.S. only. I'm I'm not really going to. I don't really care about world history that much. Um, All right, anything else, guys, before we call it a night? Can I keep a uh, – can I start a tote board for this year to keep track of how many people tell you they're either going to sue you or go into the cops right now? I know I, I, I wouldn't be able to keep track. I get so many of those messages every week. I would not be – I wouldn't be able to do it, you know? Turtle Boy chat forum when yes that is a sh there will be a chat on the blog like you'll log you'll see when we get on there you will have uh, it'll be just the video is on the blog it's streaming on the blog itself and there will be a chat underneath and you'll be logged in your account and you can just just like with YouTube uh, like we've created our own little YouTube kind of. I liked it when you were a floating head yeah. No Irish history. No. Irish history sucks. It's boring. Not much there. All right. Anything else? Um, yeah, I should put that up. Did you see the Rhode Island cops found the cops never hit the kid? Okay. I mean, we all saw that in the video, right? But I guess they've done an investigation and they've come to the conclusion that they saw what we all saw. So that's good. Yes, yeah, Schilling today. I got to meet Kurt Schilling today for the first time. Called me a clown. Kurt Schilling is a fucking nut job, by the way. He's another one of those guys who thinks that, like, th those are patriots in the Capitol yesterday. He's fucking crazy. Ace Ventura update. Um, I have, we have our, um, whatchamacallit, we have our, um, uh, deposition, the second one on the 19th, I want to say. So, yeah. Anything else? Where did I cross paths with Shilling? That was on the Jerry Callahan podcast this morning. Go and listen to it if you haven't already. It's a good one. You should have called him a thief. Yeah, I think I don't know all the details of that, but that's what they say. I don't know. He took out a loan, right? I mean, the government gave him money for a fucking video game project he was working on. I guess that completely failed. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have golf shirts for the tournament. I'm gonna start ratcheting that up in like you know probably February. I'll get people going on that again. Anything else? You guys got Kingdoms of Analog. Okie dokie.
He didn't steal anything. Yeah, the state gave him. You're right. Exactly. I feel like that's why would the state give him so much money for a price? I don't know all the details of that, but I know the government definitely gave him money for something. Bone rides. I wish I had more time. I'd love to do more bone rides. Those are fun. You know, what? I'm going to start doing those again. And we, we need to do a top like 25 dumps in Massachusetts blog. Can't wait for Ratchet Madness. Yeah, we all can't. Ryan Waters. I got, I mean, fuck Ryan Waters. I got nothing on him. Rhode Island invested tax money. Tax money comes to people. I mean, isn't that a bad investment on the state of Rhode Island? Why, if you invest in Kurt Schilling, you're a fucking moron. No offense. Can we have Gupta on the show soon? We do need to get Gupta back here. Gupta's great. Uh, can we have a pool for Ratchet Madness? Uh, I guess. Yeah, you don't want to see my titties. They're not. It's not good. Trust me. Trust me. I need to start a South Shore group. Okay. A Turtle Boy Caravan. We should do that. Have you seen Greenfield? Uh, Greenfield's a nice town, actually. I don't think Greenfield's bad at all. But I work out. But I don't lift and shit. You know what I mean? I'm just trying not to get fat. And it doesn't usually work that well. I gain weight really easy. I used to get a lot more. I, I was in good shape back in the day when I was a runner. When I was running like 60, 70 miles a week. I can't do that shit anymore. And I would eat like terrible. I eat terrible, but it was okay because I would run all the time. I can't do that shit anymore. Um, any update on the Angela Silver? I, remind me who that is. I don't even remember who that is. Who won Ratchet Madness? Uh, this year was uh, Nikki Evans. We've had four Ratchet Madness champions. They are in order. Ashley Lasapio, Didi Delgado, Ryan Waters, and uh, Nikki Evans. Those are our four champions. Lifting weights, eh, it's a quicker way to get bigger, that's for sure. Stronger, but like, I don't know, I'm just trying not to get fat, you know? It's my goal. All right, anything else, guys? Yeah, my, just my freaking ankles, man. I got, I mean, my Achilles. I got really bad Achilles, so I can't run that much anymore. It sucks. Don't go full Gaffney at the gym. No, nah, exactly. And by the way, you see that by the, the governor extended the uh, three more weeks, guys, just three more weeks to stop the spread this time. They just extended it a little longer with this, whatever phase we're fucking in now. Bullshit. I know this hat's no good anymore, huh? I got to get rid of this hat. I want to get a hat just says, I just write the blogs. I like uh, the, the uh, marketing team at Turtle Boy convinced me that's a, uh, Good slogan to have on a hat. I like it. Okay. All right. Anything else, guys? Give you one more minute before we call it an evening. Come up to New Hampshire. New Hampshire is just so like I'd like to do the biggest dumps in New Hampshire, but forget how fucking big New Hampshire is. Like I don't want to go all the way to the top. I bet you there's some shitty places up there too. I've never been. Like, nobody goes past the, like the White Mountains. Like nobody goes. Like it goes way the fuck up there, you know. Yeah, I just read the blog. Yeah, you should get one of those. I, I can make them both. Cheddar Crispy actually made me a song. He wrote me a. Should I play the Cheddar Crispy? Well, let's play the Cheddar Crispy one. Uh, so Cheddar Crispy sends me a goddamn. I haven't listened to it yet. Let's listen to it together. He sent me a um, uh, a song he wrote for me. Shit, let's play it. Let's play. It. Here we go. Yo, what's good, Cheddar Boy? It's Cheddar. Okay. Um, this is what I got so far, a little something I did. Okay. Um, you got these crooked politicians that make us live in these shitty conditions. 
stupid ass coalitions. Why don't they make a mission? Why what? don't they make it their mission? Where's the sun? For once and have a solid vision. Oh no. They think they're better than us. For once, do something with their position. Oh, and this no. was the first page. This is Turtle Boy Sports Show. He stays exposing scumbags. You got these girls trying to act nice, goody two shoes, but they're ratchet as hell, ratchet as hell trying to brag. Straight up hag. Better be better with a toe tag. Go back to wearing your dirty ass rags. I don't know. This little something I got so far. He's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. I like Cheddar Crispy. You got nothing bad to say about him. Don't I don't know if that's gonna work though. I don't think I don't know if that's good that's gonna work. <laughs> uh yeah, I could use a beat. I, I mean, I like 508. <laughs> That's so great. I love that song, 508 is where I'm from. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know about those lyrics, guys. I'm not not quite sure about that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, not so sure. <laughs> I, I swear to God, it's the first time I've heard that. I got nothing to say. I got nothing to say. All right. Anything else, guys, before we call it a night? It could be fire. That's true, John. I got to get a beat. Oh, he's here. Yeah, we need a beat. Or else it's just poetry, man. <laughs> I feel like you read me a haiku. Okay, it's just some bullshit. I had no idea you were here, Cheddar. I had no idea you were here. Like, I love 508 is where I'm from. Uh, um, I love how you just didn't, you ran out of syllables there. And you're like, you know what? I'm just going to make from like four syllables. Fuck it. I could, I could make up something like 508 is where I'm always from, but nobody wants that. People want from, uh, um, I like that one. It makes it, it's more authentic that way. Keep it that way. I don't know who came up with that beat, but I like the beat. All right. Anything else guys before we call it night? They love Cheddar's sex drive. I think that's, <laughs> I love it, man. I love it. I love it. All right, guys. Um, so good show. Uh, we will see you all uh, this weekend. I'll let you know what day I'm going to do this on uh, the live show this weekend. But uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'll, I'll post about it on Saturday on Facebook, whether or not. Make sure you're following the Facebook pages uh, about what day we're going to have the show. All right. Peace, Turtle Riders. <laughs>